уважаемые поклонники боевых искусств, представляем вашему вниманию трехраундовый супербой в легчайшем весе. Представляем вам спортсменов. Узнав о предстоящем бою, мы, конечно же, сразу же согласились на этот бой, потому что этот бой открывает огромные горизонты в моей карьере. Соперник серьезный и опытный, имеет за плечами немало боев. Универсал может как и в стойке показать себе, так и в партере. Думаю, в бою мы разберемся, что будем делать. Ну, начнем, конечно, со стойки, а там как получится, идем на войну. Акцент делали на все и на стойку, и на борьбу. Думаю, мы удивим своего соперника. Fire. You better bring your A game, because I'm ready. На каждый бой я иду как на войну. Готовься. Синемугурыджа, спортсмен из Финляндии. Приветствуйте, Яне Эллонен. Кумумала! From Finland, Yane Ellen and Komala. This is his 22nd pro MMA fight. Enters with 15 victories, five defeats, one draw. Ellen and Komala in outstanding form. 11 wins over his last 13 bouts, seven finishes over that span. Ellen and Komala started training mixed martial arts age 14. He is a very natural wrestler and grappler, and that really lends to his style. In our fighter meeting, Yana Ellen and Komala said, I want to be very patient, counter strike, look for takedowns, hit them off of shots, but don't force ground and pound over submissions. Yana Ellen and Komala extremely relaxed entering this fight. Спортсмен в красном углу Риджа представляет Российскую Федерацию, Республику Калмыкия, клуб Барс, город Элиста. Встречайте! Баир Штепи!
Bayer Stepan of Russia. This is his seventh pro MMA fight. His record stands at four wins, two losses. All four of those victories by way of finish. Two TKOs, one straight knockout, one submission. His two defeats, both coming by way of unanimous decision. Stepan prides himself on a very entertaining striking style. Feels that he's very fast, very explosive in this stand-up. He told me his key to this fight is movement on the feet. Stepan also said in our fighter meeting that he is willing to take big shots to land even bigger shots of his own. He likes to throw head kicks. He likes to change angles. He likes to dip levels. He likes to throw flying knees. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 challenge bout in the bantamweight division. Now introducing your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 28 years old. He weighed in at 60.9 kilograms. He stands 172 centimeters tall and has an impressive record of 15 wins, five losses with one draw. He is national kickboxing champion and cage bantamweight champion. From Finland, please welcome Yanni Alanin Kulmala. And now for his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 22 years old. He weighed in at 61 kilograms. He stands 174 centimeters tall and has a record of four wins with two losses. Representing Bar's team, Alista Baye Stepin. And your referee for this bout, Vazislav Kishilov. Oh yes, Feather. Okay. You know rules. Three rounds, five minutes. Listen my comments every time. Stay active all the time, okay? Dash gloves. Take a place. In the bantamweight division, Yanni Ellen and Komala versus Bayer Stepin. Round number one. Black trunks for Ellen and Komala. Camouflage trunks for Steppen. Hard inside kick from Bayer Steppen. Yeah, checked by Komala though. Super fast. Nice right hand, just missing the mark, just skinchy in the face. Dip on the level change from Ellen and Komala. Yeah, Komala's faking as if he's going for a single. It normally means you're going to come over high. A lot of feeling out process. Outside kick from Bayer Stepin. Again, well, as soon as they touch hands, Stepin knows that he can throw the kick. Oh, he shoots in. Oh, saved by the ropes there. He was on his way down, but the top rope. Stepping back to his feet. Nicely done. On the head and arm throw for yeah, Bayer Stepin. Nice reversal. High risk, high reward. Elena Komala right back to his feet, double underhooks. Short knee from Stepin. Nice head control up by Stepin. Kumala trying to switch it, but he can't. The head pressure was too much. Oh, nice over the top. High knee, there's the flexibility of Ellen and Komala. Then the short knee to the body. Well, Stepan's leaning over that far. If Kumala manages to take off a step out, he could throw. There we go, he could throw now if he wants to. He's got the underhook. There he goes, he goes for it. Oh, he must have heard me. Beautiful strike on the way over as well. Yana Yellen and Komala driving in with the shoulder. 
to 40, remaining round number one. Looking for the hip toss this time, Steppen couldn't find it. Kumala got a hold of the rope. Let's go now, obviously. Another high knee, that one didn't get through. Very equal on the standing grappling situation here. Throw for throw, punch for punch, knee for knee. Left to the body from Bayer oh, Steppen. Oh, again, nice knee. Another left to the body. I was just going to say, I'm surprised the ref hasn't broke it up now. Foot stomped and a kick to the calf. Just heard the call for action from Vyacheslav Kiselev. That's the only problem with them ropes here. The elbow's gone over the top. That's going to stop anybody going down. Now the other elbow's over. Now it's free. Yeah, I think it'll be time for the break it up now. The clinch has gone on too long here. No one actually gained an advantage. Knee to the thigh from Yane Ellen and Komala. 80 seconds remaining opening round of this bantamweight fight. Look for the head norm throw. Never got the head in all the way to the end of round number one. Well, how, how about... A fight that is so close that you just steal it with a, an amazing attack like that. The kick, then the punch, then the, the knee. The flying knee. Remember, we're online, m1global.tv. From round number one. That knee legal clean into the body. That was the second high knee attempt from Ellen and Komala. did not get through. The high knee from Bayer Steppen. Oh, and the flying knee landing flush. Credit Yana Ellen and Komala for still being in this fight after taking that. And that was after the head kick and the punch. Yeah, you can't you can't train hard. That's something you're born with, and that's what Komala has. He's obviously cutting the, above the head, look, the hairline. The doctor's having a look at a cut on the head of Kumala. I, I think that was off the kick. The kick went above, went high, right above the hairline. Fine. Round number two. High tall stance for both fighters. Kamala sticking out. Elena Kamala sticking out the right hand. Left hand loaded from the southpaw stance. I was going to say he's got to fire that left hand. He's pouring out with the jab hand. But that's also a sign for Stepan to strike as well. Oh, shh. Kick not getting through, drew a reaction from the St. Petersburg crowd. Did you see how fast and how easy that went up? Oblique kick, just missed the mark from Steppen. Outside kick. His kicks are a fast machine. That was a better left hand, that was faster. Kamala still loading up the left hand. Oh. There's the level change. I wasn't sure if he got hit or whether he level changed, but I think you're right. I think he dropped the goal for the legs. Wow. Tried to tuck under that right hand. Now Kamala could sit back here, put his leg behind the back before he gets thrown. Ah. Big knee. That was legal. Element Kamala was not grounded. Now dumped down and right in the closed guard. Yeah, I think Kampala pulled guard a little bit there. Let's see what his guard's like. 315 remaining round number two. Left hand wide base for Bayer Steppen. Oh, 
Fishing for the triangle, nicely done, clearing the legs of Steppen. Shucking the legs. Now hooking the near side leg. Oh, he stepped over the mount. Gorgeous mount transition. Two hard left hands and a third from Bayer Steppen. Elena Komala giving his back. Yeah, he's coming out the back door. He needs to be careful leaving his arm exposed. Oh, he's got triangle. Triangle position and trying to snatch the arm free is Bayer Steppen. It's hard to see where the other arm is of Kumala. His right arm, I'm trying to see where it is, whether it's caught on the inside or the outside. Action. Call for action from Vyacheslav Kiselev. Well, Kamala's not going to do very much action from there, I can guarantee that. Stepin still working on the left arm, trying for the straight arm bar. Elena Komala pulls himself free. Oh. Big left hand on the dive in from Yanni Elena Komala. That was a beautiful, beautiful guillotine escape. Did you see him shrug the shoulder? Shoulder charged Kulmala away from him. Bouncing the step of Bayer Steppen, taking center of the ring. Shot on the low single. Guy stepped over. The sprawl now taking top position, Bayer Steppen. 90 seconds remaining round number two. Elena Komala's corner machine yelling at him to underhook, underhook. Yeah, you can underhook the body and escape from that way. He needs to put the right arm underneath the armpit. There you go, he's working under the armpit, and now he needs to come out. He needs to switch all the way out now. Blue corner. Johnny Elena Komala's red corner is by your steppings. Yeah, stepping is just wise. He, he, he could whiz that one. Hard slapping kick from Steppen in another. Kumala should be attacking the knees. Right hand diving right back in. Low close guard held by Yana Allen and Kumala. Left hand from Steppen. Big Finnish contingent here in St. Petersburg, Russia. The chant of Kumala. Kumala. Well, it's just been all one-sided this round. Closing stages, round number two. There's an arm triangle if you want to see it. See if Yana Elena Komala tries to turn up the temperature, turn up the aggression here in round three. Again, that super fast kick. Well, he needs a finish now, I believe, Kulmala. I'm in full agreement. Left hand, there's the level change. Stepping with a takedown. Oh, he Looking the for the armbar. Arm he could have it, he could have it. Oh! Lost it now, going straight, belly down, now turning over. It's a lot nice of torque. escape, beautiful escape by Komala. Beautifully defended by Yanni Allen and Komala. Great technique, great flexibility. Saw the transition from Steppen, belly down, turning. Allen and Komala keeping his composure. Well, he's in top position, let's see for how long, because every time he has made top position, Stepan has managed to fight out of there and change it over. Machine, you know so well, not that you ever get caught in arm bars, but you've put on plenty. So much of that is not panicking when you feel the pressure on the elbow. It, it's the same with any submission, to be honest. When, when people get caught in a ring and they get choked, the first thing they do is panic. You panic, it goes on quicker. Goes for any submission, always try and stay relaxed. The kick off from the oh, half butterfly wow. guard. Defense to offense for Bayer Steppen. What happened there? Just a straight kick off from half butterfly. Well, whatever chance he had, he's just ruined it. 
305 remaining third and final round. Stepin hooking the leg. Staying tight, staying heavy. Big knee to the chest. Yeah, nice. Needs to be careful not to catch the head by mistake. Shoulder strike by Stepin. Stepin is just relentless, isn't he? Hitting the single leg. Relentless indeed. <laughs> Extending the left leg out of the open half guard of Yane Ellen and Komala. Left to the body from Stepin. Back in the close guard. Well, somebody extends the leg like that, he could have switched into a, a heel hook from there, but he, he didn't bother. Nice pass. Exploding out of half guard, knee on belly. He's got the arm trap. Elena Komala giving his back, tucking under, eating left hands. He's got one hook in. One way traffic here in round number three in favor of Bayer Stepin. Well, you couldn't have said it any clearer. This is definitely one way traffic. And Komala seems to be in a big traffic accident right now. Ellen Komala rolling, Stepin leaving his left arm, but Ellen and Komala not seizing that very, very brief moment. Call for action from Kiselev. Well, there's that underhook with, like we tried before, but where's that? Oh, again, beautiful balance there. Stepin is just in control of this fight. Knee to the shoulder. Real look of frustration you just saw in the face of the Finn, Yanni Ellen and Komala. How could he not be frustrated by Bayer Stepin's top game at this point? 15th and final minute of this fight. And to be honest, the way that he's acting in the third round, Komala, it is frustration. It's not, it's not that he hasn't got the skill. He's kind of just been beaten up for round one, round two, and he's accepting it now in round three. He's mounted, going for the triangle. Mount. He's going for the triangle. This would be an amazing finish. He's got 25 seconds. Posturing on his hip. Sucking in the head on the triangle attempt. Oh! There's the tap! He tapped! What a finish! There is the win for Bayer Stepin. Total domination, and then total submission right at the end. Wow. Not content to cruise to what almost assuredly would have been a unanimous decision win. Stepping with the audacious, going for the triangle, sucking in the head, and getting the tap in the dying seconds of this fight. A really impressive win for Bayer Stepin. Submitting the submission specialist. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. After four minutes, 44 seconds of round three, we have a winner due to tap out to a triangle. Bayer Stepin! Bayer, I am here with your, your champion, Bayer Stepan. Not only was that a one-sided fight, you could have left it another 15 seconds and won unanimously, but you decided to go for the finish. Is that something you look for from rounds one, two, and three? Or did you just see it at the last moment and take the submission win? А их превосходный бой казалось, что ты мог закончить и раньше, когда бы ты этого захотел, но ты терпел до самого конца и в самом конце сделал этот душающий прием. Это был твой план? План на бой был выиграть, неважно как, досрочно или по очкам. Но победа мне нужна была. 
над таким опытным соперником. Спасибо большое ему. Этот бой откроет мне огромные горизонты в моей карьере, я так думаю. Спасибо всем. Спасибо большое моим землякам. Халимгуд. Давайте покажем, как мы можем болеть за наших земляков. Раз, два, три. Ура! He's a great guy, and my plan was to win no matter what, no matter how. So I needed this win badly, and I just had to win. And this is a great opportunity for me to gain a victory in a fight against such an experienced fighter. So I just needed it. Thank you. I also want to thank my trainer, the main trainer, Salva Renjeno. I also want to thank all those who helped me in this fight. My sparring partners. Аспанов Бахтия, Басаев Алда, Алакаев, Адлан. Всем спасибо, кто готовил меня. Ну, все получилось. Всем спасибо. Думаю, вам всем понравилось. Yanni Ellen and Komala versus Bayer Stepin. Two really talented and emerging bantam weights in M1. Yanni Ellen and Komala wanting to take this fight to the ground. That's where the vast majority of this fight was spent. But with Ellen and Komala on his back, on his left hip, on his right hip. Heavy top pressure throughout from Bayer Steppen. Positional control. Mixing in takedowns, mixing in quality ground and pound. Armbar danger there. That was a solid escape. You saw Steppen going belly down, then the transition. Down the element Komala. Keeping his composure, throwing the left hand. Closing stages, stepping in full control, and then going for the audacious, the triangle, sucking in the head, and the tap comes with 16 seconds remaining in the fight. Victorious by way of third round submission, Bayer stepping defeats Yanni Ellen and Cole Mahler.